Galaxy Note 10 Plus is the best companion if we talk about photo and video capture and editing. I use this device almost every day for video editing and it's crazy powerful because it has some excellent hardware inside it and this huge screen and this magic S Pen. Let me show you today this video editing application Kinemaster as you can uh, as you know on my youtube channel you have a review for the native application made by samsung that video editor it's excellent that one this one has some extra features and let me show you first of all this is the main interface here in the left we have the store and kinemaster it's fantastic because it has a lot a lot of uh, options in this store you can download themes you can download effects i believe it is the number one application when we talk about this kind when we talk about this kind of effects also you can uh, download uh, gradients um, animations text uh, sounds and so on it's really impressive here we have some settings at first start this application will do some automatically set automatic settings but here you will have to activate for example this in excellent feature allow export frame rates higher than 30 frames i use it let's see it in action let's create a project press here and we have to select the aspect ratio 16 by 9 if we want this format classic format and this is the main interface here we can add some files some media for example um, we can uh, use a background some favorites we can use cloud storage we can use um, some uh, some videos from our camera immediately to find it here because I have a lot of a lot of folders where are you camera here okay this is the first time rendering if we if we enter after that we will have these icons here let me show you okay that's it this is the first time uh, using this folder and this application on Note 10 Plus because I just got it. Um, okay, let's add this and this and uh, a picture, for example, this one. And that's it. Let's press it. Okay. If we want to minimize this working uh, space, just do something like this. And we have our three files, the first video, the second one, and that image here. Okay, let's press on this video. Let's say that we want to work with it like this. We can scroll it like this and very simple, either we drag this part to to cut this video to trim it or if we scroll it like this and we want to start from here but if we want to be more precise let's zoom on the working area and as you see here now we are working with milliseconds frame by frame very interesting and let's say that we want our video to start from here let's press this and we have the trim and split features we can trim to the left of the playhead basically this line is the playhead so if we press here our video was trimmed from here um, let's go back 
you can trim to the right of the playhead basically this line you can trim it to the right you can split it here you can extract audio or you can split and insert freeze frame let's see it in action okay what else you can do so you have the trim features and the cut features here we have this amazing cropping feature for example if we want our video to start from here and at the end of the video to to go something like this or to go with a zoom here all we have to do is to select the start of the video and we can choose it for example to start from here you have a preview here on the original video and the end we want to go here let's say also you if you press this button you can let's see you can have the same area here and at the end if we press it again they are separated and they will go to different areas so two features let's choose a different different area let's say it, we want it to go here from here to here let's press ok and let's try it Our zoom feature will work from the indicated area of the original video and it will go, as you can see, to this part of the area. It's useful if you want to uh, put an accent on a certain um, uh, part of, of the video recorded and so on. It's very interesting and very useful. I, uh, I used very often that feature. Okay what else you can do you can uh, either uh, rotate the video like this or like this or you can apply a mirror effect either like this or like this okay what else can you do we have some uh, clip graphics we can uh, apply some uh, Teams. from example uh, let's take uh, travel and activity travel you will have this applied on your video or this one or if you choose some uh, more title effects like this text you can edit the text you can place it in any area that you want uh, let's say another effect or this one or this one as you can see, you can do almost anything with the text on this screen. You can move it, uh, change the the text, the filter, the theme, uh, the area where to, to go. Uh, you can uh, have a smaller or a bigger text. Uh, you can change, um, you can zoom it, you can rotate it, anything without limitations. Color filter, you can apply some filters to your video and this is um, this is useful color adjustments you can work with your colors so you can do this for example it's great because in this moment we have this black and white video and here it's with colors so you can split your videos for example this video in three parts and you can apply different effects uh, on them and you will create um, a final uh, piece at the end uh, vignette you can apply it okay 
here you can change the thumbnails uh, either list or icons like this um, here we have some uh, features like duplicate or duplicate as layer uh, also you can add any other media here you can add audio um, either from your um, from your internal storage either from your uh, store also you have some uh, some possibilities to download for free music from the store here you can add voice um, you can even record live your video while you are working here okay here you will see your working uh, your working station let's go back and for example let's duplicate this as a layer and now you will see much better what i'm talking about you will see here the sounds the layers and you can work with them very simple uh, this is the layer and it's simple to work with it anyway let's go to the picture also to this picture you can apply all these features from cropping uh, from uh, cutting from uh, filters effects themes and so on if we want a longer time for this photo for example like this this is how it will look um, if we want to go with the slides with the transition effects all we have to do is to press on these ones and we have some really nice effects we have some previews here let's go with fan transitions something like this as you see here everything is fine and you will find anything and everything that you like in this application this video editor it's it's crazy as you can see here also you can uh, work with the time for this transition effect either a longer time or not just change this it's very simple so this is it this is the kinemaster video editor um, i believe i uh, i showed you the most uh, important features and settings in it you can do almost everything here without limitations and that's fantastic this is my number one video editor and to save a video just press uh, uh, for example uh, let's go back to to edit this this project you have the share button here you can choose either to export it in a lower uh, resolution or even to 4k 60 frames per second and also you can choose the bitrate this is very important for your video quality uh, if you want a better video quality with a sharp image something crisp choose a higher bit rate this is everything for a video not only the resolution the bit rate is the most important aspect so as you can see this is kinemaster thanks for watching please like share subscribe thanks